Chinese standard for the Pledge of the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please make sense for the team for it. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with these on the stage this evening. We ask your blessing, your love, your arms. Please wrap around each one of these graduates. Please fill them with your wisdom, understanding, strength to endure, and perseverance to never lose sight of their goals. Please give each one of these people comfort in knowing that you're going to be with them every step and that they can always look to you for guidance. In your precious name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. Welcome to Perryton Junior High for the Louie Payne and Martin Accelerated Education Center Commencement Exercise. This group of students bear the honor of being the first group to graduate under our new campus name. We gather tonight to honor our students for accomplishing this milestone. We're proud of their dedication and perseverance and look forward to the opportunities that await. Bienvenidos a Perlison Junior High para la graduación del Centro de Educación Desagrada Luis Martínez. Este grupo de estudiantes tiene el honor de ser el primer grupo en graduarse bajo nuestro nuevo nombre. Nos reunimos esta noche para honorar a nuestros estudiantes por lograr estas metas. Estamos orgullosos de su dedicación y perseverancia y las oportunidades que les tienen. Through the workforce, higher education, 
or indirectly by choosing to raise children at home or any combination of these, I ask you to do three things in the next few days. Those three things are to reflect on the past, to receive counsel from others, and to run forward with strength. To reflect, think deeply and carefully about where you have been and what you have done to bring you to where you are today in your life. Write down your past failures and also a list of your successes. Realize that without mistakes, you would not have the successes that you have today. Appropriate reflection of your past will help you appreciate your successes when you learn to value what you learn from your mistakes. The goal in life is not to make zero mistakes, but to learn from the mistakes that you do make and also from the mistakes of others. The second thing that I'm asking you to do is to be prepared to receive counsel from those who are less wiser than you or those who have more experience than you. The great book reminds us that the mind of the prudent acquires knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Receive counsel, receiving counsel will become a part of your transformation to become a productive member of society versus being merely conformed to the standards of the average person. The transformation of your mind will come through careful reading and much studying. You must put to memory the concepts that will bring about that transformation. Finally, the third and final act you must prepare to commit is that of putting into action the knowledge that you have learned. Prepare to run forward as you act out the behaviors you have chosen to put into practice. As a runner who runs by putting one foot in front of the other, so too will you begin by taking one step at a time. Press on and take hold of that for which you were called. Press on toward the goal to win the prize intended for each of you. How you run will determine where you end up and what you become. Mark your steps carefully. It is also very important to mark your steps carefully because how you run will determine what legacy you leave behind with those who surrounded you. From this day forward, you will make choices that will impact your way of life. Those choices will determine the direction you, your life will take. You will learn to change your choices as you decide to follow the right path. Remember to reflect on your past, be prepared to receive counsel from others, and be prepared to run forward with careful steps that will lead you to the accomplishment you desire. Again, congratulations on reaching this milestone in your life. I wish you well in your future endeavors. Dr. Little, Mr. White, 
and members of the Board of Trustees, I hereby certify as principal of the Louis Canyon Martin Accelerated Education Center that the following students have met all state and local requirements for graduation. Students, please prepare for graduation. The distinguished level of achievement is awarded to students for outstanding performance. It requires a total of four credits in math, including algebra 2, a total of four credits in science, and successful completion of an endorsement. Tonight, we have one student graduating with this honor, Ariel Hunter. Stephen Leroy Gibson.
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the graduating fall class of 2019 of the Louis Canyon Martin Accelerated Education Center. Graduates, you may now move your tassels. Thank you. 